Aquariuses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your August 14, 2018 weekly reading. So starting today into and through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, depending on where you're at within your path at this time. I have an Aquarius energy here who is feeling trapped and Spirit is trying to say that yes, something has gone the distance and an ending or a change needs to take place. It could just be an ending. There is a, a particular Aquarius here who is either this well-dressed gentleman or is thinking about this well-dressed gentleman energy. There are energies here for the next couple days of contemplation for someone when it comes to financial abundance and organization, a career. Maybe they feel trapped in the position and pattern of their life and that also could very well be coming to an end. But it could just be a position or requesting more pay. I have an energy of an Aquarius here who's trying to free themselves to move towards maybe someone who's, in, who's waiting for them someone who is maybe has an animal a small pet something but they may be at a distance it could be that somebody is trying to release themselves from one energy to go towards what may be a long and difficult path ahead for some reason so by wednesday thursday thursday friday i'm feeling wednesday uh there are energies of passion of uh, a desire to travel but the ship energies I'm seeing are actually going towards the past or towards someone who may be at a distance they're trying to free themselves this Aquarius is trying to free themselves to step into a different business organization better home or circumstance by the weekend we have an into maybe Monday, Tuesday, however these energies flow. And next up to six, seven days. There's a passionate energy. I don't know if it's the Aquariuses or something else when it comes to, or someone else, I mean, when it comes to financial abundance and security, they're very passionate about that. And or when it comes to someone who may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart. Um, again, I'm seeing the tower twice here, which is telling me that somebody's wanting to step into a different business, a different location, a different organization, because maybe the old one has come to an end and now this new opportunity is coming in. Maybe this new opportunity does involve travel because this gentleman energy or this masculine energy I see is, um hopeful about financial abundance and security in the outcome position they are communicating about financial abundance and security but they need to be careful because we have a snake here somebody needs to maybe speak to someone that they see as very dishonest or harsh that they want to move to a new location they want to do something they maybe need to speak to this Aquarius needs to speak to this water sign about travel to a distance freeing themselves in some way this is going to give the Aquarius energy the ability to sweep away from discontentment even though they're financially abundant and secure in one location and situation, they can let go of old regrets and find abundance in the same type of circumstances in, if not better, in a new location, in a new direction. Okay, so I'm pulling a card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild, and the card that Aquarius is receiving for the week of August 14th, 2018, is the Woman of Light. Okay, 4 plus 9 to me is 13, which is 4. Contemplating on a solid foundation, meaning beneath you, around you, and in your bank account. Wanting to find clarity about your life. Okay, so 
I'm going to read a little bit from the book to give credit to the author and to give clarity to the messages we have previously described. This oracle brings you guidance that you are to be witness to the presence of an awakened being. Okay, somebody who knows what they're doing, they know where they're going, they know where they've been, they've got their, their feet on the ground. Either within your own self as a part of your spiritual destiny or in the form of another. An awakened one is in your midst or soon will be. Receive the blessings that emanate from such a being, such a person, for to behold one is a gracious, gracious spiritual gift that will lift you up to the next step of your path. If you are having trouble discerning the true presence of an awakened teacher in your midst, or even in your own being, remember that nothing is asked from you by such awakened ones, but loving devotion so that they may serve the awakening of all living beings. Interesting. This requires much karmic grace to be granted immediate access to an awakening, an awakened being, even more to become such a, a living light yourself. Take delight at this time. I ask God for a deepening of my love. The more it involved letting go and surrender to the possible, lay the greatest potential for love at levels before unknown. Wow. Somebody's making a big move. The only thing I do fear is the energies of the snake, meaning maybe dealing with a snake or not being completely honest in some way. Now, before your video, Aquarius, I pulled a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron Reed, and you guys received number 27. Now, 2 plus 7 to me is 9, meaning the end of a path. The end of a path and maybe a new beginning. With the Sacred Union energies, this is about partnership and romance. The Sacred Union is, about, is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you to co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you're never alone on your path, Aquarius. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendships, family, business, and of course, romance. No matter what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnerships and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by this sacred union. This is a very positive omen indeed. It's a time to put a little distance between you and the one you are wondering about. More will be revealed to help for you to make the correct choice to support your soul's growth. Wow. So let's take a closer look, shall we? I am going to use the I'm going to use the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. This is a tarot deck and I'm going to do a circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign and or rising sign of Aquarius with clearly defined messages regarding Aquarius's life path ahead. Love and Romance, Career and Finance, Spiritual Guidance for the week of August 14th, 2018. Thank you. All right, so the card that we have in the center of the circle spread is the card representing the energies that are available to Aquarius's at this Aquarius at this time. We have the three of action. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project is going to be. You may choose to continue to build upon your success or to move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Get passionate and excited about this travel is what I'm hearing. In your mental aspects position of the circle spread, you have the seven of thought. 
You've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you in the next couple of days. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. In your relationship sector, we have the seven of emotions. Now seven to me is a very spiritual time whereby there may have to be some challenging decisions made. Your angels are asking you in your relationship sector to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely that you know which choice you should make, but you're, pro you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Thus, the snake energy and communication. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. For some of you, maybe this has to do with this little child here on the beach. In your creative aspects position, we have the nine of emotions. This is a magical time in the next three days or so when wishes are granted and dreams come true. Whoop, whoop. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun this week. So in your actions position, Aquarius, we have the healer of action, a time when you can do whatever you set your heart to. If your heart is open, you're being asked to do many things at once, you won't mind as long as you know that you're making a difference, right? So this card indicates that someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could describe you, is who is coming in through your actions, maybe with this child by the water or a beach next weekend, or thoughts of the situation taking this action. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. All right, so it is you guys taking time to heal as you connect and think about the future, waiting for something to come to an end, to get over a long and difficult path, to get excited about travel, movement, and maybe having communication at some type of organization or location when it comes to either money or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And someone just doesn't want to have this situation, this communication, because this person may be a bit feisty. So in your emotional aspects position, Aquarius, we have the healer of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. This is what's going to make you feel really good. Your creativity and the ability to innovate make you destined to succeed in your life path. It might be time to expand your career. Don't forget to leave time for family as well. The situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and very nurturing. So those are the energies of the person you're gonna be com communicating with or thinking of who may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So in your inner strengths position, Aquarius, there is a win, or I'm sorry, subconsciously, you're thinking a win-win situation. There's strength in this diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that is magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach to this important decision. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position of the circle spread, you guys have the four of thoughts each day through the week. Spend time in nature, listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking, but prayer will. Amen. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you to rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful at this time because if you ask Spirit to give you signs and you receive these messages, you will indeed know that you're walking in the right direction. In your inner strengths position uh, into early next week, we have the messenger of action. Something new and exciting related to creativity or career comes to your attention 
and you're ready to get going, although you may feel a bit insecure. So maybe that's what the snake energies or the communication is about, but Spirit's saying, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life, maybe you, who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, who wants to try everything. So in a three card summary to my right about this week, we have got the first card representing today into the next couple days. Your intuitive abilities are accurate right now. You can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. In the next three, four, five days, we've got embracing those around you. It's a time for great spiritual growth within you and for you, making it more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. We have an ace of abundance. If you've always wanted to start a small business, create something that you know you're good at and put it on amazon.com. In through the weekend into Monday, Tuesday, you have the eight of action. So you've got the messenger of action in the outcome position for the end of the week and the eight of action. There is gonna be so much going on that you may feel overwhelmed a bit. And yet, it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love to do. Express gratitude and blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with great confidence. Somebody could receive a bigger, better offer if you go to that job interview that may involve travel. All right, so I'm going to bring in some spiritual guidance here and for clarification. For Aquarius, please, for the week of August 14th, 2018, this is the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed, Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. All right, so things are working beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, take time to decide what your next big project will be. And Spirit's saying, we're going to give you the strength of this super large tree. Because it's a magical time in your life. Sit in nature, pray, and wait for guidance. A message is going to come as you heal this week. In your thoughts position, Aquarius. With the seven of thought, confused about a situation. In the next couple days. An offer or opportunity is going to come your way. Could be however this applies. A home, a path, a new direction, a business, a person, a partnership. And this angel is flying in with a white wing and a black wing. So it's going to be up to you to know what is the best choice. Are you going to make a good choice or are you going to make a bad choice? Okay. In the next couple days, if you're tempted, make sure it's not a long and difficult path ahead. Make sure that you go and check out a location first. In your relationship sector, in the next few days, you have the seven of emotion. Angel's asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. Here you are, sitting in the place by which you have belonged maybe for a period of time. Spirit's saying you're going to belong there for yet a little bit longer as you think of these decisions you need to make. In the next three days or something, or so, I mean, <laughs> this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. All of a sudden, you start to understand that you could grow into much more than you ever thought you could before. It could also be give someone time if they come in quickly and unexpectedly. Make sure that you wait around for a little bit because there is something you need to see. There's some information you do not yet know in the next three, four days. Then you have the healer of action. Time to do whatever you set your mind and heart to. Open your heart. Know that you have the warrior energies around you and within you. And the strength card. To stand strong as you open your heart willingly. Emotionally. There is the healer of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. It's your creativity and your ability to be innovative that will make your des that you are that brings you the destiny of success. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation in your emotional aspects position involves a person who's down to earth with a gift 
for designer decoration. Some of you may be thinking of and emotionally tied to either a project of abundance or someone who has a very abundant business or position. Emotionally, you guys are being led by the High Priestess of Earth to follow a new path towards financial abundance and security. Watch and pray for the lessons, the experiences, the direction. Subconsciously, you know that you can somehow create this win-win situation. There is strength in diversity. Speak your truth. Know that you have great strength to make a decision and decide who and or what you're going to allow into your path next. Day to day, you've got the four of thought. Spending time in nature, listening and thinking and praying for what feels like could be a very fulfilling path ahead. And in your inner strength's position, having the inner strength of the messenger of action. Something new and excited related to creativity or career comes to your in, uh, attention. Listen closely. You're going to have the strength to set your mind to something, to open your heart, to be asked to do many different things. You won't mind as long as you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's intelligent, passionate, and fun. This should also be the energies you're giving out, but know that you are protected. The person you are taking action in connection to and with can help handle situations with grace. And so can you. So it's a, t it's a time of learning and honing your skills. This week, Aquarius. In a three card summary, we do have learning something new. Learning that no matter how badly you want to go into a particular direction or doorway, that doorway is blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you. Think about in the next couple of days as you go out into your woods, your grove, on your couch with your kitty cat and your blanket, what it is you should put your focus into that maybe just involves research, that involves a new business location or new idea. Pray to spirit as you are eventually going to come into an understanding that you've been in denial of your success, of how far you can go, of what you can accomplish. So in the next couple few days, three or four, we've got the High Priestess of Water. So you may be dealing again with a Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or uh, the High Priestess of Water, Well, and the High Priestess of Water is helping you when it comes to your emotions. Focus on your individuality. What is it that I want? What is it that makes me happy? Don't be afraid to become invisible and to look into the golden mirror that reflects the child within. How do you remain loyal to you first and foremost? How do you use the obedience energies to take off the blindfold and find balance in your life once again? To express your boundaries in a fair and kind manner and to start to set new goals for new directions. Somebody here sees someone or something as a very attractive opportunity or person. And spirit same. Face your fears and step into the path. Pray to spirit for the best results and take an oath to yourself that you'll be fine with the situation no matter which way it turns. Now is a time to do some self-studying, to figure out what are my old cycles and patterns. Write them down and cross them out. It's time to do something completely different because the old patterns and cycles were not working, right? The High Priestess of Air is coming in to help for you to cut away from complicated people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments. To enjoy playfulness and happiness in your life. To get to the truth of a situation when it comes to wanting to hop, skip, and jump and take a risk. To realize that someone here is carrying deceptive energies. You're going to receive a message that's very passionate. Some of you, not all of you, obviously, if you're single. And Spirit is saying with the reminder energies, there's a tombstone here that says, don't forget. Don't forget what happened in the past, Aquarius. Something will need to be brought to a conclusion so that you can move forward towards new goals and intentions in a very excited way. You will receive much confidence 
And even though someone's rigid, they may not understand your perspective, your goals, your ideas. The High Priestess of Fire is here to help guide you in the path of financial creativity and abundance. She's going to help for you to free yourself. And when it comes to love in your path ahead, Aquarius, the High Priestess of Spirit is here to help you to guide the path ahead of you, to see the truth of a situation, and to let go. To let go of what was, but to be sure of what or who it is that you're going towards, okay? Because for some of you, you're sweeping away an old path of contentment and financial security to step into a new path. But in the new path... Um, just make sure you take your time to communicate because somebody may turn into a snake. Somebody may not be prepared for what you have to say. All right, so do it in a way that does not cause chaos and wait for understanding. The situation does not have to be complicated. Face your fears. All right, so if you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I am available at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer one month, three month, six month, and yearly readings, and those prices are listed below. Uh, if you'd like, I am offering a summer special, which is a 15 minute video um, for $25. Just provide me with your horoscope or your sun sign and any particular questions or concerns by which I can meditate on during your video. When I am done, I attach the video to your email and you just click and watch. So give it a try, check it out, see what you think. All right, now, during this week, Aquarius, it's a time for energy work. Know that your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and your client. Be very open, be very caring, loving, giving, and supportive this week. Have confidence that when it is time to go, wherever it is you guys are headed towards, when it comes to a child in the situation, ask Spirit to bless you and show you the path ahead. Don't try to control the path ahead. Some of you, through great confidence, are going to receive this opportunity that's very abundant. And Spirit is confirming that this process is actually a blessing in disguise. Everything is happening according to divine timing. There will just be a process of release and surrender. So to close for Aquarius, I'm going to read from the Release and Surrender card. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've had tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands and arms and your heart to our love and assistance. We will guide you according to perfect timing. So you are being guided, you are being protected. Take the risks to get to know what opportunities or offers are ahead. And don't be afraid to communicate your truth or your boundaries to those who come and go in your path this week. Thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.